This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. There are many tools to use in AutoCAD. Before we can use them, we must know where they are or how to get to them. At first, you're going to need to hunt for the tools that you want to use. That's okay. In no time, you're going to learn where everything is. In fact, your muscles will remember exactly where they need to move the mouse to get to your most used commands. The main form of input in AutoCAD is the mouse. A typical mouse has three buttons, though many users will take advantage of a five button mouse. It's up to you, but all you need is a standard two button mouse with the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel acts as the third button. Each button has a specific function. Button 1, which is the left click button, is your main form of input. You click this button to select objects. The right click button can be set to several different functions. Out of the box, a right click will bring up a shortcut window, like this one. It's very handy. Many users prefer to have the right click function as the enter key. This is my preference. I'll show you how to make this change. To customize the right click functions of your mouse, you will need to open the options window. To do this, open the options window by moving the crosshairs to the application menu, which is the big red A, and click on the options button near the bottom of the window. Another way to do this is to just type in OP for options and press enter. Either way, it works fine. You'll see several different tabs here. Each one of these has different settings for AutoCAD. Some of them are complex, some of them are very specific, and they all do different things. We want to go to the User Preferences tab. So left click on the tab to open it up, and now go to the right click customization button, and left click. Right now, when you right click on your mouse, a shortcut menu will open up. There are several advantages to having this available. It will put several commands near your mouse, making it easy to get to them. And that shortcut menu will vary depending on the type of command you're using. It will bring up certain options that you will need while you're in that command, but you may not need them on another command, so it won't bring them up. It'll bring up a different list. We'll see them in good use later on. Many users still want to have their right click act like the Enter key. When you press the space bar on the keyboard, or the enter key on the keyboard, it will execute the command you just used. It will also act like the enter key does when typing in text. You can have both of these options, meaning the shortcut menu or the enter key function. To do this, you turn on the time sensitive right click option at the top of the screen. This will give you a quick click for the enter key with your right click of your mouse or if you click and hold it for 250 milliseconds, I've never timed this by the way, so I don't know of the accuracy, it won't execute and enter, it will bring up the shortcut menu. Now when you're editing objects, you might want to have the repeat last command on, or the shortcut menu. I prefer the repeat last command, but you can always change that later if you don't like the way it works. Hit apply and close, hit apply, and OK. Now when I right click, it executes my last command, which was the options. Click OK to close. As you can see, when I move the mouse, it moves the crosshairs in the drawing. I can use the scroll wheel to move the drawing area. If I roll it back and forth, it's a zoom in and zoom out based on the location of my crosshair. You're not shrinking or enlarging the line work in your drawing. You're just moving in closer or farring away. It's a very handy tool. There was a time when AutoCAD wouldn't let you do this. You couldn't zoom in real time. It was terrible. It was hard to navigate. But a simple thing like the scroll wheel in Windows with the mouse made navigating your drawing so much easier. You can also use it as a pan command. Click and hold the scroll wheel and a little hand comes up. Move the mouse back and forth, up and down, or in a circle and zoom in, use them two together, and you can navigate in your drawing quite easily. One last thing on the scroll wheel. If you're zoomed in and you need to just get out to the entire drawing, double click. 
This performs a zoom extents. It's a type of zoom that takes you to the outer extents of your file. This is the extents of my file. This is where my line work is. I can change that by adding more line work to my drawing somewhere else. Now, if I zoom in here, double click the scroll wheel, both of these shapes are included in the extents of my drawing file. As you can see, the left edge and the right edge of the screen fit there. If I erase this and double click, that is my new zoom extents location. It's a great way to get out to all of your drawing. Well, the crosshairs themselves are another important tool. They're your target. Where your mouse goes, the crosshairs go. Where your crosshairs are is where your new lines, your text, and your other objects will be placed in your drawing. If I want to make a circle, the center of that circle goes right where my crosshairs are. And then the edge of the circle, again, is where my crosshairs are. Just like everything in AutoCAD, you can adjust the size and color of your crosshairs. Again, go to the options to change this. If you go to your display setting tab, go down to the crosshair size. It's now set at 5% of the screen size. Click and hold the slider bar and move it all the way to the right for 100% of your screen size. Click OK. And now my crosshairs fill up my screen. I like this because it helps me to use them as a sort of guideline for my drawing all the way across, left and right, up and down. The crosshairs consist of three major items. Your vertical line, your horizontal line, and that box in the middle which is called the pick box. These three items are there for a visual reference. The two lines are perfectly straight and they intersect at the center of the pick box. This point of intersection is the point where you will select objects or insert new objects. The pick box helps you to find that and you can adjust the size of your pick box again through the options if you want to. When you move your crosshairs off of the drawing area, which is this big gray area that you can also change to a different color if you'd like through the options, but we won't for this case, it turns into a pick arrow. This makes it easier for you to select things in your ribbon or in the quick access toolbar or in the application menu. Move them back to your drawing area and your crosshairs return. This main drawing area in AutoCAD is a large black field. This is where your drawing objects will go. There are two main spaces that you're going to draw in. Model space and paper space and you switch between those by clicking on these different tabs. Model space is where your drawing objects go. You'll draw the lines for your house, your car, whatever type of object is that you're trying to design. Paper space is where your annotation goes. Your title block, your drawn by, your notes, your dimensions, leaders, notes for your drawing, they go here. And this is where you print from. We're going to cover these two spacers in much greater detail in another section. We'll go over what belongs where and why and how, and the advantage to having these different spaces. One other area that I want to mention before we go is the Info Center. This is where you go for help. That is up at the top right. If you click right on the question mark, this will bring up your help. It opens up help in your current browser. You can go to help. You can search for things right in here, go right to the user's guide, or look at some basic things that are just labeled all over. Just select what they have and read on the different topics that are provided. You can't find it, you can go back to help and then do a search. And it will bring up what you need to know.